with us, Mr. Campos. So first off, let me get your thoughts on this measure. Well, it's it's uh, it's more political probably than than uh, specifically regulatory, and and that that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. I mean, what what uh, what the different authorities are trying to do across Europe is calm the markets, and they're they're looking at a ban on short selling, you know, which is always controversial, always. Uh, always something that uh, traders and, and others who are in the markets uh, don't believe is necessary. Yes, and don't forget in 2008 we had the U.S., France, uh, and Germany following the U.K. and banning short selling. What did we learn from that practice just about three years ago? Did it work? Well, uh, most people will say that it didn't work, you know, that it didn't stop the, the stocks from going down eventually. Uh, the, the jury is out on, in some respects because it, it, very good studies, in my opinion, uh, were not done. There were studies, but there was always some lack of great empirical evidence. What really is the problem, Susan, is, is uh, not so much shorting, but what's called naked shorting, which is that uh, you don't have uh, the stock that's being shorted borrowed or identified, and it isn't delivered within the three days or whatever the trading period, whatever the uh, clearance uh, settlement period is going to be. And if you have that going on, then you have a multiple a multiplier effect that, that can drive uh, share prices down, uh, you know, exponentially and unfairly. And so mm -hmm. the jurisdictions have got to be very careful about That's making right. sure that uh, short, if they allow the, and, and don't ban short selling, that they do clear and that they do that the shares are being delivered, you know, within the um, the uh, the clearance period. Yeah, well, Mr. Campos, I guess investors are concerned because this really goes into the face of free markets. Uh, you know, it seems the markets would be overregulated with this ban on short selling. Well, you know, uh, I, I I and I think most uh, most uh, professionals in the area. Uh, believe that short trading, if done legitimately and shares are borrowed and identified and then they're available to be delivered, uh, is perfectly uh, legitimate and, and okay. uh, it, it provides price discovery and, and it allows uh, okay. stock, other stockholders to understand if other traders feel that Mr. there's a weakness in a particular stock. I want to thank you so much for joining